Und zwar in Werk Zayim Mishnehei, 5th Mishnah, the 7th chapter of Mesechet Zvachim. So we learned about the idea in the previous Mishnah. We learned about the idea of Nevelat Of Tahor. If you have an Of Tahor that became a Nevela, a kosher bird, a kosher chicken, but you shechted it improperly, it died, it died not to Shita. So unlike Nevelat Behema, that's Mekameh Bimagah Hamasa, so the Nevelat Of Tahor, a, a chicken that died or was killed, is not Mekameh Bimagah Hamasa, it's Bebeta Bliyah. It's Tamitame when it's in there, when, when you're eating it, when it's in your gullet, as it were. So, question is if, if a person does um, a, a malika, or you have these birds and you shut them in an improper way, are they Matame Bebeta Bliyah or not? That's our Mishnah. That's a Mishnah. Malak could be small. You still do malika with your, with your right hand. The coin did it with his left hand, meaning his wrong hand. Oh, my I did malika at night. Shachat Chulin. Now, you didn't do malika, you slaughtered a bird that's Chulin. Non hegdesh bird bifnim in the Beit Hamikdash, or the kadoshim bachutz. You, you shechted uh, the a kosher bird bachutz. Okay, outside the Beit Hamikdash, outside the Azara, a non metamim the Beit Tabliyah. So all of those uh, all of those sulim they're not edible, but nonetheless the shechita or the malika remove the nevela status of the bird. This is a bar tibura. Ha'ilu psalan bakodesh. The psul is in kodesh, meaning in the Beit Hamikdash. Ahani malika didu. The Malika helps. Sheim alu lo yadu. We're going to see later on that if you put them on the mizbeach, you don't take them off. Okay. Therefore, they're they're theoretically they're not kosher in the sense you can eat them, but they're einam betamim betavliya. They're not nevela. But malak v'saki. Remember, Malika is the back of the neck of the bird. So if you did Malika with a knife, not with the thumb, malak chulin bifni. If you did Malika on chulin, which you're not allowed to do, or the kachin bachus, you did Malika on kachin outside of Beit Hamikdash. Torim shelo yigiyaz manam u'bnei yonah shabar di manam. Torim are doves, turtle doves, and b'nei yonah. B'nei yonah are doves, torim are pigeons, turtle doves. Shabar di manam, meaning is pigeons have to be up to a certain age. B'nei yonah have to be less than a certain age. It's in Mesechet Chulin Dav Chabet. Look it up. Shiyavash Gapa. Gapa, I had to look up that word. Gaf is the long portion of the wing. So it's wing dried up. Like, so this bird, so this bird, right, you're going to do Malika regularly, but it had a dried up wing. Or Nismate Ena, its eye was gouged out. Shnita Ragla, its foot was cut off. Then, Mitame Bebet Then it is Mitame. Why? Because in all these cases, these these um, these birds, Chusar Eivar Pasul Apofo, there's no such thing as trained by an Apofo. Okay? Okay. Ain Tamut Vizichut Bofo. There is a Tam, a pure bird, say for the Korban, or a maleness for the birds, but. Here, if it's missing a whole aver, it's missing a whole a whole limb, it's pasul for the Beit HaMikdash. So in these cases, so all these, you do malika on them, but nonetheless, it wasn't kasher, therefore, mitamei b'beit HaBliyah, it is considered an Avela. Zekha, this is the rule. Kol shaya p'sul ha-bakodesh, eina mitamei b'beit HaBliyah. If the p'sul was bakodesh, i.e., in the Beit HaMikdash, in the Beit HaMikdash, okay, uh, right, it was, it, it, was be, it was because of the korban aspect. Aspect of it. It was, a, it was a kosher bird, and it was that Malika was done, but the, but it was pasul because of another reason. You did the Malika in the night or in the wrong way, etc. Then a matame be beit abliyah. Then it's not an avela, and it's not matame beit abliyah. But lo ayab sula pasul ba kodesh. But the pasul is for some other reason before it got to the beit hamikdash. It's just not a kosher bird, i.e., because it's got the, the whole wing is dried up or whatever. Mitama be beit abliyah. Then it is matame be beit abliyah. All the people who are pasul. If you have a person who's pasul, bartenura, lonzar, onain, tvul yom, muchusay yom kipurim, azar is a non kohen, and onain, someone who lost a loved one, tvul yom, went to the mik, went to the mikvah, but had to wait till the night, chusay kipurim has to make a korban, etc., etc. Chol pasulim shemalku, milikatam sula. So their milikah is not good. I.e., you can't use the korban, but veinam mitamot. Similarly, remember, it's it's an example of Psula Bakodesh. The Psula is in the Kodesh, but not in the Malika itself, and therefore it's not Mitame Beit Tabliya. We'll stop here. Dedicated on learning to my father. I have rats.